obtaineth for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. Mine eyes fail for thy word, saying, When wilt thou comfort me? For I am become like a battle, a bottle in the smoke. Yet do I yet do I not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of thy servant? When wilt thou execute judgment on them that persecute me? The proud have digged pits for me, which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. Thy, they persecute me wrongfully. Help thou me. They had also consumed me upon the earth, for I forsook not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimonies of thy mouth. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in the heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinance, for all are thy servants, unless the law have made my delights. I should then perish in my affliction. I will never forget the precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfection, but they but thy commandment is exceedingly broad. Let us pray this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this today. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to travel up and down these dangerous highways safely. And Father, we thank you for allowing us to come here at Mount Zion one more time. Lord, we thank you for being God and being God all by yourself, Father. We thank you for bringing us from last week all the way up to this very present moment. Lord, we say thank you because at any time you could have taken any of us, but Father, you saw fit that we see another day. And Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for being just that kind of God. Thank you for being a forgiving God. Thank you for being a loving God. Thank you for being a long-suffering God, Father. We ask that you just forgive us of all of our many sins, Father. We thank you for coming out of heaven to this world, Father, to die for us, Father. We just say thank you. We thank you for that sacrifice that you made for us, Father. Lord, we thank you for Jesus who came, bled, suffered, and died and rose that third day morning, Father, so that we might live again. Father, we say thank you. Help us, Father, to go out and tell people what a great God you are, what a wonderful God you are, what a mighty God you are, what a loving God you are, what a great God you are, what an awesome God you are. Father, and tell people that you are just God and God all by yourself, Father. You created this world. You created us. And, Father, we say thank you. Thank you for every living creature that's on this earth, Father. We just say thank you. Thank you for our houses, our cars. We thank you for our health. We thank you for everything that you've given us, and we thank you for everything that you've done for us. Father, we just say thank you because you are just that kind of God. You are a loving God, Father, and we thank you for toiling with us, Father. We thank you for keep on keeping with us, Father. We thank you for the hedge protection that you keep around us, Father. Lord, we just thank you for being God, Father. And Lord, again, I just say thank you because you've been better to me than I know how to be to my own self, Father. Through all that I'm going through, Father, you are still here, and I just say thank you because you didn't have to, but you did. And Lord, I just say thank you. Thank you, Father. Help me with my unbelief, Father. Lord, I just say thank you for being just that kind of God, to be a long-suffering God, Father, to stay there with us, Father. Lord, we just say thank you. We ask, we ask, we are asking for blessings here at the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, 66 to Highway 79 South, Father, across the street from Walker School, Father. We are standing in need of a blessing, Father. Help us to be that church that, that can go out and tell people and compel them to come and be learn what a great God you are, Father. Lord, we thank you for the Sunday School lesson that is thinked out in our hearts so that we might be more do as of your word and not just hear us only father help us to get up off our do nothings and go out and tell people that you are God that you are great God that you saved them for a purpose father Lord we just thank you we thank you thank you thank you thank you for the teacher that's going to stand here this morning father we thank you for our pastor that's going to stand here later father open up our hearts and our minds so that we can receive everything that you have for us father again Lord I just say thank you thank you thank you thank you these are another blessing we ask in thy son Jesus name through the power of the Holy Spirit I pray amen Good morning, everyone. Thank you for that prayer, Sister Sheila. We sure appreciate you. Our Sunday school lesson for January 15, 2023 is not by our own devices. Our key verse is, Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shalt go. And our first outline is deliberate, which means can mean done intentionally. Do anybody want to read the verses three, four, and five? I knew that thou art honest, and thy neck is an iron smooth, and thy brow brass. I have even from 
comes again and declares it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it to thee. Lest thou shouldest say, Mine idols have done it, and mine graven image and my molten image have commanded All right. All right, so in this lesson, um, in verse 3, when you say, I declared the former things from the beginnings from thy forth of my mouth, and showed them I did suddenly, and they came to pass. God is talking to Israel. He did everything for them. Mm -hmm. Everything that Israel had gone through, everything that they were going to go through, God had declared them what was coming, and he brought it to pass. He brought everything to pass. Everything that he had showed them, which he declared the former things from the beginning. From the beginning, he declared it. And then he went forth from his mouth, and he showed them. He showed them what, what was going to be brought upon them. Verse 4, because I knew that thou art obstinate. Obstinate? Is that obstinate? Yeah, it's obstinate. Which means stubborn. In which we all are stubborn. We are all stubborn. And thy neck is of iron snoo. Rev said that snoo was tissue in your neck. And the word won't move. And that's how we are. When we're stubborn, we won't bend, we won't move. When we're thinking of one way and God is telling us to do something, we are stubborn about it. We don't, we don't, we don't try to, we try to reason. And some things, if God's telling you to do it, there's no reason to reason. It's the reason why he's having you to do certain things. I mean, because we're stubborn every day. We're stubborn about reading our lesson. We're stubborn about coming to church. We're stubborn about doing, going out there preaching God's word. We're just stubborn people, and they were stubborn. Because in verse 5, I have even the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it to thee. He showed them. God favored Israel, and he proclaimed his word over them with accurate prophecies. I mean, everything that he said came to pass. But instead of trusting in them, they relayed on idol gods. So anybody know, can tell me what an idol is? And even then, and we do that now. We do that now. If we put, for instance, well, I need to go such, such, such a place, knowing I need to be at Bible study. You putting that before God. Exactly. And that has pushed, a, that has been the big idol that... <laughs> That's going on in the churches today. And, and like everybody, you can go to work, you can go to Walmart, you can go to the clubs, bonfires, horse rides, trail rides, they can go everywhere but here. I'm scared that this too many, you ought to be scared out there because you don't know what all people have. You don't know what diseases, you don't know what's their mindset, you don't know what's going on out there. Mm-hmm. Excuse. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't want to do it. Mm hmm. 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 Didn't want to do it. Right. I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't want to do it. I'm like, mm, I don't know. But after thinking about it and praying about it, I mean, I have to put the Lord before anything. And I have to pray about it. Mm -hmm. I have to pray about it. I mean, when he said my idol, the idols, they put the graven image and molted image had commanded them. I mean, I was thinking about the people over there in some of the countries and here, they're out of gods. They worship in cows. Mm -hmm. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Muslims or people over in India, they worship cows. So therefore, they don't eat beef. Mm -hmm. They eat chicken, but they don't eat beef. Some people in China worship alligators. What can an alligator do? What can a chicken do? We, we have so many little owl gods. Mm -hmm. uh, owl houses, owl mm -hmm. cars. 
Mm-hmm. You put all that ahead of God. Mm-hmm. And when you talk about him worshiping cows, I have I know people that worship dogs. Mm-hmm. What? So they put that dog before they yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 And I say I do not believe God intended for us to do for dogs what we do for people. <laughs> 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 it is. It is true. It is true. Cause I've did it. I've. You know. Well, I don't, I'm not an animal lover, but I have put in. You know, my car, my house, clothes, hair. Yes. Uh, mm-mm. It's always, oh Lord, my God, have mercy on me, Lord. Can you show me this? Can you help me do this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He knew. Mm-hmm. Your mind just wonders. Your mind wonders. Because uh, even me studying my lesson and, and studying for uh, Sunday school, I used to have the TV on, and then something come up on there, and then I'll drop my, and i look, and I, I said, no, I closed the door. Dennis, leave me alone. Let me read. Let me, because, yeah, because if those little distractions, they ain't nothing but the devil. It's keeping you from getting in the word and learning about him. That's, yeah, the cell phone. And the cell phone is the biggest thing, especially for the kids at the churches, because that's an item. That's all they want to do is ain't paying attention, ain't doing. Parents. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You show sure right there, Miss Mother Hanson. I mean, because even though he done told them, he done showed it to them, he still delivered them. He still loved them enough to do that. And, and that's what God does for us. He lo- No matter what we do, no matter what we go through, no matter how much I ain't doing this and I'm not doing that, he still loves us. He still Chance after chance. We, I mean, our chances ought to be run out by now, but every day he still keep giving us to him. Yes, he will get a new one every day. And some of us don't deserve it. Some of none of us, none of us really. <laughs> none of us deserve it. He loves us. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am, he sure did. Mm-hmm. It's gonna play out. Mm-hmm. So you don't wanna wait until that day because you might be a Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that's why you have a chance. As they said, while the blood is still running on the bank, we need to start paying attention. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Rev says it, most pastors say it every Sunday. When he opened the doors to the church, anybody, please come. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. 
All right. Anything else that I missed? And don't y'all please, because I'm still new with this. I ain't seasoned yet. <laughs> you ladies. <laughs> yeah. Anything that I missed? Anything I need to go over on this? Okay. All right. So our next outline is divine, and divine is like God. So anybody want to read 6, 7, 8, and 17 for me? Seventeen. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, out of all the things they've heard, they have seen, and they still wouldn't declare. At the and that's like us. Everything we can hear and we see and we still will not declare. Mm -hmm. We don't, we don't, and just like he, they were warned. Mm -hmm. He said, I've showed you new things from this, even hidden things, mm -hmm. and thou still doesn't know them. Mm -hmm. He gave them every warning, mm -hmm. every opportunity, and they still wouldn't declare. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, after all the miracles and things that they have gone through, to think that idol gods brought them there. Mm -hmm. I guess because, well, I do know, um, because they could see it. A lot of things, people feel like they have to see it to believe. Right. And, and with us, some of us, we have to see it to believe it. But by me reading, I pass the telling us every Sunday, I know. I, that yes, that he did everything for us. He did. He gave them. He given us everything. He given us a new day every day. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Amen. Somebody is bearing somebody today. Right. Somebody may have lost their job today. Right. You just never know. And for them not to declare it, I mean, this is just me. Back in the day, if I would have seen all the things and the blessings that the Lord has bestowed upon them. I mean, I would have been dropping to my knees like, thank you, Lord. But they still worshiping idol gods. After all that, they don't had darkness, plagues, everything. Been in captivity. And you still want to worship idol gods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And verse 8, yea, thou heardest, heardest not, ye, thou knewest not, from the time that thine ear was not open. And I'm like, okay, God is teaching them. Even, even our key verse, the key verse in 17, thus said the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth. Be the prophet which leadeth by the way that thou shallest go. I mean, he's teaching them, he's directing them towards what is best for them and the path that they should go. I mean, they're given a, 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 a path of what God is expecting them and need, wanting them to do, and they still just wouldn't do it. Mm hmm. Because if they are, if this is stuff that they've already know, well, I don't heard about that. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. But that's old. I don't want. I that uh uh. But if something new, yes, yes, you they should have been able to. But it was a reason. I mean, God, 
he had faithfulness in him. He still loved them. He still wanted to care for them. He still wanted to deliver them, and he still delivered them. Grasp. They couldn't grasp it. Mm-hmm. We don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can hear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Till you come through. Mm-hmm. Just, just a limit. Mm-hmm. Then when we come through. What I happened? Help me through. Mm-hmm. But when he help us through it, we go right back to, to the out of God. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go, oh, but when we're going through, we'll promise him, Lord, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. And so then when he send us through, we go right back going where we were going before. Mm-hmm. That's about like when we leave out of here today. We're going to be worshiping out of God's. We're going to be going to the house trying to watch football game. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's out of God. That's out of God. That's out of God. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because even like when uh, when uh, Moses got them out of Egypt. I mean, they was in the wilderness because Moses didn't do what they wanted him to do in a certain length of time. They wants to get mad and they want to build a golden calf instead of waiting. Well, he done got us out here. What, what, what are we supposed to do now? What are we supposed to do now? Instead of them waiting, being patient, waiting upon the Lord. Mm-hmm. Me too. Me too. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then they were in the desert. So therefore, you think about how 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 did they eat? How did, how did they get water? They didn't. They provided. They didn't starve. He, yes. Then you think about it, while they was in Egypt before Pharaoh let them go. They had lice, frogs, river turning red with blood. Darkness came about, firstborn being killed, and they still. <laughs> yes, and I'm and I'm just like after if I this is me, if I would have seen just the things that he did back then. And probably so. Probably wouldn't have thought of it. Oh, those are tricks. Yeah. Those are sorcerers. They're this and that's that. But God knew what he had to do for them. He knew what he had to do. He knew what they had They had to go through, like we all do. Got to go through in order to appreciate what God has done for you. I mean, because I appreciate, because, ooh, I appreciate, from being at Mount Zion 20, 21 21 years. I don't grow just as hopefully most people will grow. <laughs> You've been, I've been in church all my life until I strayed, but eventually you got to grow. And some people don't. You, 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 yeah, they don't want to grow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. Yes, ma'am. I sure don't. I, I don't. I mean, even when you go through, you feel like, Lord, he done left me. He done did this. We done doubted. And everything. And then when he brings, brings it to you and he done got you through, you still don't appreciate. You still don't. What's the word? It's a reason why. Well, I don't know why the Lord don't let me do this and why the Lord done brought me through this. It's a reason. Because sometimes you have to go through to appreciate people that's in your life, people that's doing things for you, what you need to do to get right. I mean, it's just, we just have to uh, get, up, get away from these our gods. I mean, even with this new age of technology in the churches, that's people's crutch right now. Well, I can watch it from home. That's an idol. Now. Mm-hmm. Say, get my other hand bolded. Well, you know, some people believe that um, you don't have to go to church. You don't have to go to church. And if I'm not mistaken, Miss Hanson gave me a marker. They had all kind of Bible schools scriptures and stuff on it and that was on it I don't know I think it's in Hebrews if I'm not mistaken okay and when I hear that I said hold, hold up wait a minute let me go get my Bible because I will keep my Bible in the car and I bring it out I said now you look in here I said I don't know where y'all getting this from well the, the same thing that the people on TV you can't listen to everything that's on TV you can't listen you don't know <laughs> What, the, my thing is, those people on TV, a lot of it is, can't, some of them, I'm not going to say all, it's just for profit. It's just for show. It's just for, that's, that's all it is. It's a monetary thing. Mm -mm. Everybody ain't called to do certain things. Well, everybody's not called to do everything. Because I, I sure did see myself teaching. But the more I do it, and the more I, I deal with it, the more I, I love it. I really do. And with y'all help, I'm going to continue to grow. All you ladies, I appreciate all of you. No matter, now, I'm just me. No matter what, if I get up here and if I say something that ain't right, y'all call me on it. You call me on it. Because I want to be corrected. I don't want to go out there. And thinking I done did this and did that and got the wrong understanding. Or giving the wrong understanding to someone. I don't want to do that. So, <laughs> so is there any, this was a short lesson. It was a real short lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But I want to read this closing thought. I, I often read these closing thoughts because it gives you something to think about. And the closing thought says, every child of God has access to the blessings of divine guidance. God's Holy Spirit is available to guide us and navigate through life's many ups and downs. Let us not grow so comfortable with God's provision and protection that we become arrogant and presumptuous in our behavior, our thoughts toward God. Only the only true God who created heaven and earth can give us power, might, wisdom to live in the victory and peace. Is there anything that need to be that need to be brought to my attention or that we need to discuss or go over? Because my knees are just shaking like I don't know what up here. <laughs> I don't know. As you, like I said last time, I had stuff written down. All of, I ain't looked at nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I mean, I'll be writing down stuff and don't be looking at nothing. Yes, because I prayed about this morning. I said, let the Lord lead and guide me while I, while I get up here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. He done gave it to me because... It wasn't nobody but him. I, I have to, I have to, I have to pray about it, and and I'm because like I said, Miss Juanita, 
been getting at me. Even years just to pray, because I was warned that didn't want to pray in public. You know, I can pray all day long at home. I get in my little room, I can, all kind of stuff. Shout like I don't know what. But then when I get up in here, I shouldn't be ashamed because I'm in the house of the Lord. Right. You don't want to say the wrong, wrong thing. thing. Right. And that's, and this by like up here, I don't want to say the wrong thing. You, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's you right. Don't want somebody to stumble on something that I say mm -hmm. while I was out praying. Mm -hmm. That was my intention. Yes, yes. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's why we pray before we start. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, Miss Juanita used to get at me about that, and I'm like, oh, Miss Juanita. And I got mad at you one time. No. Yes, I, I ain't going to tell no lie. I said, why Miss Juanita always want <laughs> Now I'm in church now, I can't lie. <laughs> but, but I'm like, why is Miss Juanita always want, picking at me? I thought she was picking at me. She always want me to do this. and I'd be like, felt like she would call me on the spot and everything, and I felt kind of shamed and everything, but it was a reason. It was a reason. She done pushed me. Miss Lily done pushed me. Listen to Mother Hanson, all you ladies. I appreciate all of you. And as I continue to grow, I want you to grow with me. Amen. Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else? <laughs> yeah, all right. Then. That's our lesson. Thank you. Amen. We want to thank Sister Asher for the wonderful lesson. Amen. Oh. <laughs> It is scary getting up here. It is scary to pray. It is scary to teach. It, but we we should be afraid. We should, you know, when you walk boldly, we should be bold, but we should be humble at the same time. So it, that is a good thing because it keeps us, it keeps us humble, and it lets us know that God is God, and that we have to rely and depend on Him to say and to do what it is we need to do. We are, we are not of our own selves. We are his vessels. We are his devices. And so we have to be used to do what he wants us to do. So thank you for that wonderful lesson. Well, this lesson was short. Why this lesson matter? People want to know what the future holds. Can they figure it out on their own? Isaiah tells us that God alone knows the future and revealed it to the Israelites despite their obstinance and stubbornness. So it doesn't matter. God will reveal it to us. We just have to be patient and rely on him because when we think that it's our time, it's not our time. He knows when it's our time to reveal stuff to us because we can't handle everything. So he gives it to us in little teaspoons because we, <laughs> we probably can't handle a tablespoon, but he gives it to us in little teaspoons so that we can handle it because we are his children. So we want to thank everyone for coming out and being part of Sunday School. We ask those out there in Media Land to come on back out and fill in some of this blue. Um, we really do want to see you here. We don't want you to be one of those devices that is used incorrectly. So we just ask that you come on back out and be a part of our Sunday School. Thank you. <laughs>